in a rally to highlight the threat to the region's biggest and most important theatre. A third of staff face losing their jobs at Plymouth Theatre Royal as it grapples with the fallout from the coronavirus. John Henderson has more. Save our theatres! Save the arts! A simple rallying call in Plymouth city centre, an apt stage to show support and highlight fears for the future of this place. About 100 jobs, a third of its workforce are at risk because of the coronavirus pandemic. I'm devastated, absolutely devastated. Delia faces losing her job as head of wardrobe at the theatre, which has lost 91% of its income in lockdown. The government's promised grants. The Arts Council has set up an emergency response package worth £160 million. But that's nationally, and the Theatre Royal needs £250,000 a month to keep going. I'm just so passionate about what I do and what it brings to the people that I work with. I No, there aren't a words that would describe if I lost my job. But it's about more than individuals. The Theatre Royal has a stellar reputation for its productions and its outreach work, which is now at risk. Theatre is often viewed as quite an upper middle class um, place to be and my job is to break down those barriers, go into communities in Plymouth and show them theatre is for them, it's special for them, it's special for everyone. The government says it's considering how to offer further support for the arts and places like this in the future. In the absence of curtain calls, expect to hear more of this. Save our theatres! John Henderson, BBC Spotlight, Plymouth. RNLI lifeguards are stepping up patrols on southwest beaches this weekend, including Porth Kerno, where a man died earlier this week. Dawlish, Warren and Tynmouth are among the beaches that are now covered. New measures are in place to make sure lifeguards are protected from any potential infection. It comes as coast guards urge people to swim only where there is a lifeguard. I do get the uh, whole thing about kind of swimming where there aren't that many other people, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. However, there is an inherent risk, and there will always be a delayed response. You know, li lifeboats and helicopters and stuff are not instant. Um, people have to leave their places of work to come down to the lifeboats and then launch the lifeboat, and then the lifeboat has to transit to that location. A songwriter from Cornwall will have one of his compositions featured in the Global Pride 2020 event tonight, which is being broadcast on the internet and around the world. This is Not the End is one of two from Cornwall Pride being featured in the programme. Global Pride is the world's biggest ever event celebrating the LGBTI plus community. There are countries involved where it's still illegal to be part of the LGBTQIA plus community. Um, so the fact that they are involved is historic and I get emotional thinking about the fact that my song and I'm involved in this event it's um yes it's quite <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty major some famous faces will be among the crowd of cut out supporters following Exeter City in Monday's League Two playoff final at Wembley Coldplay frontman Chris Martin and actor Adrian Edmondson will join the 1700 fans who are making their presence felt even if they're not there in person the cutouts that filled the Exeter stand on Monday semi-final are being transported to London and are joined by another 500. Now, here's the weather with Alex. Thanks, Carol. Hello. Good evening. Well, the blue skies and heat of earlier this week may now seem like a distant memory. And through this evening and overnight, there is the risk of a further few heavy downpours driven in on a brisk southwesterly wind, but most of those will fade towards dawn. So it's another blustery night of weather, but a little bit cooler compared to recent nights. So for Sunday, it's generally a dry and a bright day, just a slight chance of the odd isolated shower, but drier compared with today, with some decent spells of sunshine as well. It will be, though, another windy day of weather. The wind's gusting between 30 to 40 miles an hour, and exposed to that wind, it will feel rather cool, but with any shelter, not feeling too bad. It stays windy then on Monday. That's mostly dry and often rather cloudy. Thereafter, it looks rather changeable, but there'll be some sunny spells at times. Thanks, Alex. That's it for now. We're back tomorrow evening with the latest from the newsroom. But for now, from the weekend team, have a very good evening. Bye-bye.
Good evening. What a difference the last 24 hours have made. Uh, I'm sure a sigh of relief for some of us after that heat wave. We've had uh, showers and thunderstorms today and then tomorrow we've got some windy weather on the way. Really quite blustery for the time of the year and it's a low pressure that's decided to park itself over us and this is the repeating animation from the last 18 hours or so. You can see the clouds swirling around across the UK and they'll remain more or less in the same place for the next couple of days. So you can see the winds overnight tonight spiraling into the center of the low about Scotland here and round it the showers go. Basically the further away you are from that low the drier the weather will be, the closer you are to the center of that low pressure the more heavy the rain will be at times. Now these are the gusts of wind for tomorrow. We're probably exceeding 30, 40 miles an hour in places, windy for the time of the year. And on top of that, we've got lashings of rain, say around the Lake District, Western parts of Scotland. Temperatures only 14 to maybe 20 degrees Celsius. In some parts of the country on Sunday, it is going to feel chilly. Big contrast compared to what we've been used to. Now on Monday, the low pressure is still there. You can see the showers circling around the center of the low. Again, it's across more northern parts of the UK where we'll have the showers. So further south, it's going to be drier and brighter and temperatures only nudging up to 19 on Monday. That's it for me. Bye.